Well, this morning on Weekend Wake Up, we are joined by Catherine and Ron, the owners of Three Fins Coffee Roasters. They have a beautiful cafe and roastery in West Dennis. Thank you guys so much for coming from Cape Cod to be with us this morning. Thank you. I know you guys also have classes yeah. about brewing techniques, and one thing that people might not think is as important as it is, the grind size. Absolutely. Grind size really makes a big difference with the brewing equipment that you're using. You can go from having a good cup of coffee to possibly a bitter or a sour cup of coffee. And the reason for that is, if you look at this, when we're grinding these whole beans, what we're trying to do is grind it down into particles to have enough surface area for the water to flow over and extract the flavor of the coffee out. So that's what you're doing is you're extracting the flavor with the water. So depending on how much time the water is in contact with the coffee, that determines whether or not you need to have a coarse, a medium, or a fine grind for that extraction process. So here we have a very fine grind. This is what we use for espresso. Mm. When you're pulling a double shot of espresso, you only have 26 to 30 seconds to get all that beautiful flavor out. So you need wow. a lot more surface area for the water to pull the flavor out. So I Whereas, love the French press. Yeah. Uh, that's my preferred method at home. What's the best grind size for that? Your coarse grind. Uh -huh. So. This is an immersion process. So Ron's putting um, the coarse grinds in here. We are going to fill it up with water. And what you're doing is you're saturating the coffee grinds and we're gonna let it brew for about four to five minutes. So you need a coarser grind because it's really, you know, it's, it's sitting there and it's brewing and it's slowly pulling all of that flavor out. If you were to use this espresso grind, very fine, you're gonna pull too much flavor out and it can be very sludgy coffee. Mm, you don't so want this, sludgy coffee. Right, exactly. And it'll be over extracted, so you're pulling way too much flavor out because it's sitting there for five minutes. What if you have a regular drip coffee maker? Yeah, so this is where uh, you use like a medium grind, um, which is best for your home brewing um, equipment or your automatic drip maker. So for people, because I know some people just like to grind the whole bag of beans right. really quickly, why is it even better to just do it cup by cup? Yeah, one, it's fresher. Mm. You're grinding the coffee. It's 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 nice and fresh. As you grind coffee, it starts gassing off. So you want to do it immediately before you grind your coffee. And it's really, uh, or immediately before you brew mm -hmm. your coffee. That's what so. I've been trying to do. So, yeah. so this is based, you guys are based <laughs> in West Dennis. West Dennis. And you have bags of coffee ready to go. People can just stop in and pick these up. Absolutely. You know, Anna's a big fan. I am. I've been to the cafe. <laughs> it has such an awesome vibe there. I know that you're really, it's important to you to bring the community together. Absolutely. That was our big thing in, in putting the coffee house together. One, to make good coffee um, accessible to everyone, but to be a gathering spot for the community. Yep. And that's so important. Well, Catherine, Ron, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks I learned so much today. Mm -hmm. There's so much that goes into coffee. It's so exciting. Thank you again. We'll be right back.